Hey guys, Matt here with another video. It's uh, Saturday afternoon, and we are going to take a look at the latest version of Malware Bytes. Uh, I have a really infected computer here. I just loaded some fresh malware a few minutes ago, plus all the other malware it had from the previous week. So let's see if we can get this PC somewhat operational again. It is very um, slow at times. I've got uh, odd processes running in the background, like whatever that is. Um, let's see. I've got some, uh, I know I saw some other stuff in here, it was weird. I don't know, I just know there's a lot. Like this stuff just popped up right here. That's just mainly adware, crapware. So let's go ahead and have mal malware bytes. My, my, this is my go-to whenever I go to a customer's house or they bring their computer to me. This is my go-to uh, tool just to kind of go ahead and like make a serious dent in whatever malware they have on their computer. So I'm going to malwarebytes.org. Click download. I myself am using the paid version of malware bytes. Um, I'm using premium. Um, I can show you that here. Hang on. So I have it right down there. This is Malwarebytes Premium. It's uh, I think it's like thirty bucks a year. It's good stuff. Hi, highly uh, suggested to everyone I meet. Uh, download the free version. We're just we're not going to do the premium one for this video. Although that would be like a really good video to show that though. It has some amazing uh, web blocking um, techniques, I, I guess. That's the way to put it. <clears throat> I actually used it the other night. My daughter was down here, and she was searching for something in the solar system, and I just picked what looked like a legit site, but malware bytes just basically just disconnected the connection, and, yeah, that site was uh, hijacked. So... Uh, I am not going to enable the free trial. I just want to see the... Well, no, I will. What am I talking about? Yeah, I have to. Okay, yeah, enable the free trial. This is this is Malwarebytes versus Malware. So, we're not testing just on-demand scanning. We want the, the full package to see how it does, basically. So yeah, I would love to get this for the company I work for. Um, I, I think this would be a really awesome thing. I, uh, I think I might look into pricing on it. But we've got like 250 users, so it might be kind of might be kind of pricey. Um, but we have trend right now, and uh, I just hate it. Okay, update. One more. All right, uh, let me look at my settings here. I rarely even go in here. Not doing any exclusions. Yeah, we'll scan for rootkits. I doubt there's anything on here though, rootkit wise. Hell, it's been forever since I've seen a rootkit actually. Uh, I'll enable self-protection module, do it early. Sounds good. I uh, will do a custom scan. We'll scan for rootkits and scan the entire C drive. It is 1.24 p.m. on the clock right now. Let's hit scan. All right, I know that's going to take a while, so I shall return. All right, so that took a while. I actually went out and got some groceries and came back, and it is now 2.19 p.m., um, we will go ahead and say, let's see, we found, uh, 270 items. The red ones are bad, of course. Uh, we'll say remove selected. 
finish. And when you click finish, there's always kind of a pause. Um, you're just kind of sitting here waiting. It'd be nice if they had some kind of like, you know, countdown or progress meter or something. But uh, this whole thing kind of just freezes, basically. And it can go from anywhere from like a few seconds to, you know, a minute. Sorry, my dog was snoring. Go on, go. No. Sorry. Uh, let's see. Still going. See, it's still frozen. Yep. <clears throat> it didn't terminate the slim cleaner thing, which is obviously just, I don't know, crapware. I sort of would have uh, expect expected it to, but no. Yeah, so they definitely need this definitely need some kind of like a you know, saying, okay, I'm removing this, 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 and progress bar kind of thing. Otherwise you're like, what's going on? But it does finish. It's just I have uh, a lot on this uh PC right now. So I didn't think I would have to pause during <laughs> during the removal phase, but Okay. I guess I, no, here it goes. Yeah. So that's good. It just takes a long time for that to kind of kick off and show up. Is freezing outside. Right, Dexter? Yeah, it's like 15 degrees right now, it feels like. Alright, 270. It's going to ask you if you want to reboot. You should always reboot every time. Alright, so uh, we gave Malwarebytes its fair shake. Um, next, we're going to go ahead and boot into the Kaspersky Rescue Disk and get a second opinion from Kaspersky and see if anything was missed. Okay, well, we just put it uh, back into Windows and uh, this whole slim slime cleaner thing is here still. And it says, we are now 20 seconds slower. And I would assume that's because I told Malwarebytes to start as a priority rather than having other Windows things start, which is fine. Anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and um, shut down this virtual machine, and we're going to boot into Kaspersky, update it, and scan, see what happens. Okay, so I uh, booted into the Kaspersky rescue disk. I have updated it. Let's do it again. Okay. We will go ahead and do a scan with these three guys, uh, disk boot sectors, hidden objects, and see. Well, basically, it's kind of redundant, but I'll just do that. So start object scan. And we'll let the guy roll. Shouldn't, well, <laughs> last time I said it shouldn't take that long. It took forever, so uh, this might take forever, but uh, I'll pause it. All right, well, that took a really long time.
probably like a, at least an hour or more. I'm not sure. Uh, it did find some stuff here. Uh, looks like some uh, adware. Uh, it says detected legal software that can be used by criminals to damage your computer or personal data. Well, it sounds serious, so we'll say apply. Well, no, let's do this one at a time. Delete. Okay, I guess that was it. So, yeah, malware bytes did a pretty damn good job. I mean, there was only one thing that wasn't picked up on. It was some kind of little installer, but no big deal. Anyway, I would like to uh, thank my Patreon subscribers, especially. Uh, I have seven of you now, and I uh, appreciate your support. Um, Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and move on to other programs after this. I have to build a brand new virtual machine after this. Uh, yeah, so this thing's kind of shot. Anyway, thanks for watching. Talk to you guys later.